Hey there! Eight days! I'm eight days out. So let me explain what, what I mean by that. And I've, I've decided I might share a little more about what's happening in the next uh, uh, little more than a week and then and beyond for the purpose of uh, future records and to share with my daughter and anyone else who's interested. Because this is when I'm at the cusp of one of those life transitions that is so difficult. And the type of, precisely the type of thing that, oh, look at that cool action car. It's one of those uh, anime cars. It's all dolled up like anime. It's something I won't see much any longer if the next eight days are successful. So um, it's the type of thing that so many people write to me, especially over on the Lyles Brother channel, about uh, anxiety, about life changes, that I can certainly relate to. I'm going through it right now. So let's go ahead and document the process. So what am I talking about? I'm eight days out. Um, eight days from today, I'll be uh, sitting uh, for a job interview. Same job I've been uh, pursuing since July of this year. It's 2013. July uh, this year, my brother uh, uh, let me know that there may be future openings at the organization that he works, the government organization that he works. And uh, he suggested that I, uh, if I have an opportunity, I was at us. He suggested that I come over to the States and uh, perhaps meet some folks at that organization. Well, one, one folk, one person. <laughs> so I did that. There was, no, uh, there was no job at the time, but I went over and uh, I met uh, an important person at the organization. It was a bullet train. Basically, in, in, in order to introduce myself with the uh, idea that, you know, if, if something comes up in the future, um, you know, I might be a person to consider. And that's exactly what happened. Uh, uh, and a thing did come up, an opportunity did come up for a job that, for a job that uh, is uh, uh, related to what I've done in the past. Uh, it's, a nice, it's a nice dovetail. It's, it's, I'll talk more about that later, but what, about those details. So that happened, and uh, it was a very long uh, process. This is a government job, so nothing, nothing moves quickly. It's not like the job that I, I got in at, at uh, OpenWave Systems Software.com, where it was a, an afternoon of meetings at Starbucks and uh, a phone call in the evening. In the after, in, in the evening, I got the job. This is this is a long, long process, and uh, this was the type of thing that I, I had some areas that I wasn't quite qualified in. And uh, I was uh, um, advised that my chances, well, it wasn't advised, it was basically, I was told that this was conditional. There were some, there were going to be some elements, some technical certificate, not technical, really, it's more standards based, no, it's not even that, it's more or less procedural based uh, certification that would be needed uh, to get the job. It was, it was going to be a requirement, so I, I had to pursue that. Some of you who have followed my stuff uh, were aware of that, maybe over on Facebook. Well, for the most part, I've been pretty quiet through all this. But I did, I did do that. It was very stressful. It was, you know, it was a lot of studying and then a, a complicated certification method where I had to have this uh, like online type of thing with the cameras and a proctor watching me while I took a test uh, <clears throat> online. And I passed that, so I, got, I met that. All of, you know, and I had to pay for all this stuff. And, and then, um, you know, I'm not, I'm not complaining at all. It just, you know, it wasn't, it's not, none of this is cheap. And then I'm flying over, then, and then finally I went through the application process, which was complicated also, and uh, got, got through, you know, the new way that things work these days in North America. Uh, I don't know about elsewhere, but uh, a lot of these organizations have these online screening processes where you apply online through their website. You don't actually send a resume in, and then the computer filters it and looks for, an, an, for qualifying keywords, basically, and then... Uh, resumes that pass through that filter then emerge uh, in HR's system and then get pushed through there. And I managed to get through, uh, I think a small, I'll say, I think it's around less than 10, 10 people at this point who are going at the final stage for interviews for this uh, one job. And I'm one of them. So I'm going to fly over uh, on uh, one week from today, next Monday. That would be the 23rd of uh, December. I'm flying over Delta Airlines, leaving in the evening, and I'll be arriving. And then the very next day, the 24th, New Year's Day, I have an interview at uh, 10 a.m. 
uh, at that. Uh, I'll be interviewing. I'll, I'll be interviewing with uh, two managers. I don't know. I don't. I don't know anything more than that. And uh, I know that uh, they'll be drilling me on um, asking me. I shouldn't use the word drill. Interviewing me uh, with, against uh, the technical and managerial type of questions because this is largely, even though I don't know if I can call it a management job, it's a managerial job, it's a project management type of job where I would be, if I get the job, I would be uh, managing the deployment, deployments of, uh, of IT uh, products and uh, uh, technologies such as, you know, email systems, uh, billing systems, accounting systems, whatever the case may be, from, from the design, from the planning, design, operation, um, and uh, continual management of these systems. So there's a lot of people stuff involved, a lot of, a lot of, uh, a lot of, there's a lot of technical stuff involved, a lot of working with suppliers, contractors, things like that. It's a, it's very, very human type of interactive stuff. It's, it's technical, but it's also very, Human stuff. <laughs> so if it sounds like I'm nervous, I am. I had a I had first first of uh, half sleepless nights last night. So this is this is the point of making the video. The point was that uh, I'm going through precisely that type of thing now. That so many people write to me. I shouldn't say so many, but a lot of people do write to me, especially like I said over on that other channel. They write to me and they say, you know, Kurt, I'm 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 I'm. I'm, I'm anxious. I, I either want a change in my life or I'm about to go through a change and, and I'm feeling that anxiety. This is, yeah, 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 so this is me too. And this is, this is not new. This is, uh, this is going to be the one, two, three, this is the fourth time my wife and I have bounced across the Pacific and the fifth time that I've made a wholesale change like this in my life. Sixth time if you count the time that my parents did it and, they, and t t I tagged along as a, as a teenager. So, um, uh, and it's definitely ner it's, I'm definitely nervous, and this is this this particular week's going to be a busy one. I've, I've got a lot of uh, studying to do. Um, I want to be aware of the types of technologies that they're using, so I can speak with. Uh, even if I can't honestly say that I've used a lot of these technologies, at least I can talk intelligently and relatively so, hopefully, uh, about them, and uh, make my best impression at this interview. Uh, so I'll keep you guys. I'll keep you guys uh, posted. I'm going to call this video Day 8, and I'll count down the days, and maybe I'll let you know some of my thoughts each day, as well as some of the uh, issues and considerations that my wife and I have ahead of all of this. And then uh, keep you posted right up to the right up to the event, and let you know what happens. Uh, I may know I'm the last person they're interviewing, so I, I may know uh, that same day uh, the results, and I'll, and I'll, for better or worse, I'll let you guys know. See what happens. I'll sign off for now. Eight minutes into this, how do I do these things? <laughs> Thanks for uh, listening for a little bit, and uh, more more videos uh, on this subject will be later. Probably tomorrow. Bye bye.